Hello, friends. I just want to share with you what will help you in your spiritual growth. Three keys to your spiritual growth. Number one is intentional discipleship. Growth is not automatic. Growth is optional because you can choose not to grow. So spiritual growth does not come automatically. You have to be focused. You have to be deliberate. You have to be intentional. Acts chapter 2 verse 42 says, The disciples were devoted to apostles' doctrine. Okay, so they were they were devoted. They were deliberate. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 2. Desire the sincere milk of the word that you might grow. So you have to desire it. You have to desire it. Okay, Second Peter 3.18. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus. So your discipleship must be deliberate. That's the first key. The second key is your community. The, the, the body of believers that you belong to will help your growth. Nobody grows in isolation. Hebrew 10.25 Do not forsake the assembly of brethren as some are in the habit of doing. So don't isolate yourself from the community of, of brethren because Proverbs 27.17 says, iron sharpens iron. Okay, so people around you determines whether you grow quickly or you don't. So you have to deliberately locate yourself in the fellowship of people that will help you to grow. Number three thing that will help you grow is your spiritual atmosphere. The spiritual atmosphere around you can shock your growth, can stunt your growth, and it can expedite your growth. Okay, and that includes your friends, your family, where you work, where you live, your your, you know, all of those things determine the atmosphere around you. Proverbs 13, 20 says, He who walks with the wives will grow wise. The companion of fools will suffer loss. Second Timothy 1 and verse 5, Paul said concerning Timothy, Timothy, I remember the faith that is in your grandmother, a loss that is in your mother, you need, which is always in you. Okay, so Timothy grew up in the atmosphere of Christian parenting. So, if you work in, in bar, you work in hotels, you are likely to be challenged with your spiritual growth because of that atmosphere around you. You work in parks, garage, where people use curse word, curse language. It's going to affect your spiritual growth. Okay, so you have to deliberately, again, find and locate yourself in atmosphere that will help your growth. I hope this helps. Let me hear what's challenging your growth. Or what other things you think can help our growth, our spiritual growth as Christians? Please put your comments in the comment section. Thank you. God bless you.